design uses geometry. So just about any career that involves design is going to have a lot of geometry, very important to it. Now that computers and software are used in design, that means even more careers will be needing a knowledge of geometry. Both the actual designer of an individual application and the computer software designer who needs to build a program that can handle lots of jobs. Here's a few. If you want to be an aeronautical engineer, you're going to need a lot of geometry to design wings, fuselage, all the parts of an airplane. If you want to be an automotive engineer, then you're going to need a lot of geometry in order to maximize efficiency by reducing drag, increasing the amount of friction that the drive wheels feel against the road. All these things can be done after you have a geometrical model of the vehicle. If you're interested in fashion design, there of course is an artistic side to that, which won't need the geometry as much, but once you want to make the designs realized, you'll need a pattern designer who can use the actual geometry to come up with the patterns to make the clothing. In fact, you might notice that a sleeve of a shirt, for instance, is basically a cylinder. But to attach it at an angle, you'll have to cut that cylinder. Here's a piece that I cut off of this cylinder. If you stretch it out, you're getting a sine curve. Of course, one of the best careers for someone who knows a lot of geometry is to be a mathematician, either to invent the new mathematics of the future by being a research mathematician, or to explain that mathematics to young students like yourself, perhaps. So here's my pre-calculus book. Ecology, finance, even designing search engines for the internet, all are going to involve networks. Individual points connected by lines, whether those lines are links on the internet or supply-demand relationships in finance or food chain relationships in ecology. And if you give those connections weightings, depending on how important they are, and then talk about the distance from a single point to another in terms of those weightings, pretty soon you have a metric. And that's a generalization of what we need to study in geometry. And here's a few more. First two that have a lot to do with intersecting lines and curves in missile defense or in any other sort of, of military defense application, you might want to shoot down a projectile. But in air traffic control, you want to make sure that none of those curves ever cross, because that would mean a collision. A biologist is interested in geometry more and more as we look at protein folding and the structure of DNA is it is found inside of the cell. It can be curled and twisted and knotted and tangled, all geometrical concepts. A nuclear engineer is going to need to use geometry when he designs the fuel rods or the control rods in a reactor. 